Today we're gonna talk about white balance. Why is it so important and how can you get the perfect in-camera white balance? Let's go! I will try to be really fast in this video, but I also want to try to explain this so even the more amateur me could understand this. Why is the white balance important? I guess I'm not telling you anything new when I say that everything that you can see around you is because of the lights. Of course, if there would be no lights, there would be darkness. Darkness, darkness, darkness. Now the color of anything is affected by the lighting conditions under you can see it. For example, when you go out from your grandma's kitchen into the garden, you can still recognize what's white, what's green, what's yellow. Because your brain and eyes can compensate different types of lights. And I'm pretty sure now you're wondering, well, why is this so important? Even my phone can do it. Well, yeah, your phone can do it. I agree that, but... If you're rushing or vlogging or you have no clue what you're doing, then yes, use automatic white balance. But almost in any other case, you will want to switch your camera to manual mode. Just, just don't forget about it. You see, I don't know why I would do that. If I have something that's working properly, why would I change it to, to manual? That's the problem, because this is not working perfectly. Sometimes we will need to help to emulate this process. To compensate for different types of lightning and to render a white object white. And you will need to lock this. So it's not changing when something moves in front of your camera or, or when you're moving your camera. Because if this changing when you're recording, it will be almost impossible to color grade. If you are wondering when it's crucial to leave your camera in a manual white balance, well, one is time lapse. You want each shot, each second to be consistent and to have the same feel and same look throughout your whole recording. You also want to use the manual white balance when you are working with multiple cameras. Because if all the cameras are using the same white balance and that's not just jumping around, it would be a lot easier to, to color grade and to edit. And let's not go too far. You will even need to lock your white balance when you just talk to the camera and you move a bit. Let's say you're talking here and then you go there and then you pick it and as soon as you move out from the camera, your white balance is gone. <laughs> and if the colors and your white balance shifts and you want to do a jump cut, well, good luck with that. Okay, that's all. These are all the reasons why I'm recording this video. Congrats for surviving the introduction. Now let's see how can you fix this in an old school, not old school way. So all you need is something white. I typically use a white canvas that I bought five years ago with the thoughts, hmm, one day I will be a famous painter. Well, as you can see, I created this and I named it the overexposed image. You guys like it? <laughs> so what I do now, I open up the white balance menu. I could use all of these inside, outside, cloudy, grandma's kitchen options. But to make this more accurate, I will set up my own for this episode. This is all trendy and cool, but what if your camera is a bit older, like this one, and you don't have a white balance or white card recognizer? Well, this is the point when you can take out your technology from your pocket, your phone. Again, for iPhone users it's a bit easier because you can just open up your app store and download the Light Spectrum Pro. It's an app that will, that will help you with your white balance. But for us Android users, hmm, it's a bit more complicated. Well, we don't have to download anything and that's what it makes it harder and, and more beautiful. Because we just need to be a bit smarter. Samsung cameras are not bad at all and as the technology upgrades and changes, not just the hardware but the software is getting better and better too. So all you need to do is just to open up the camera app. Go to your pro camera. You can shift your camera to something white and adjust your white balance. Just try to adjust the whites to your capturing button. Yes, I checked. It's not 100% but it will work. After you're accurate, just switch to automatic so you can just double check your number. Now that you have the number, you can just grab your first camera and set it up to have the proper white balance. Now take your second camera and make sure you set up the same exact white balance on it too. And you can also lock your white balance on your phone so you can have three cameras. And basically that's it. That's how you change your white balance. Now all you need to do is to match the colors, the contrast, the sharpness and the quality of the footage. Well that will come in a different tutorial video. Until then... Until then, make sure that you leave me a like button in the comment section below. Hit subscribe with the pink snow shovel and das vidanya.